Hello, this is Patty at Kevin Fever Soaps and Essentials, and I don't usually have my face on here, but a lot of people have asked me to do one, so you're only going to get just a little bit. I don't like my picture taken or on video, and Brianna is in here, and she's the ham, and she loves to be on video, but not me. I like to be in the background. Anyways, today I'm just going to show you how I wrap my beer soaps. And we made these uh, before surgery and they're all ready. And this is the sage leaf beer and I'm wrapping them today and just going to show you a little bit of do it and just talk to you. Um, then we have our honey beer and oat milk, oat milk and I'll be wrapping a few of them today so anyways I hope everybody's having a good day I'm gonna put you down so you can see what I'm doing instead of looking at my face alright here we go I think you can see the table but I gotta have my eyeballs on and what I did, well, my husband, he went to Walmart, and I like the non-bleached coffee filters. It just comes in a big old pack, and it's very cheap wrapping, but it looks good, especially for beer soap. At least I think so. I got the label on the front and the ingredients on the back. And I have taken twine before. Um, and I stole this from the garden. But anyways, you can decorate around it or put a couple of them in there, tie a bow or just a knot and it looks very, very nice. Um, this sage beer soap sells like hotcakes and Hopefully this summer we'll have a lot, a lot of different varieties. So what I do is I just put the soap, stack them up. Usually I have more than that. I just stick it in there. And then I just fold it under. There's no problem. I know that they have a machine out there that would do this. But to me this is kind of good therapy. I like to just sit and be doing something, especially if I've had a, a rough day or just really, really tired. Gives me something to do. My granny used to tell us when we were little, especially us girls, that idle hands is the devil's playground. So I try to keep busy and I was taught that at a very young age. Now here's my um, printed off uh, labels and what I do is I make sure I fold it down because I don't have Brianna here to hand it to me and it makes it easier to get off. And then I just put that over like that, smush it down, there's the front, then I turn it over and I do the same thing on that side um, with my ingredients. I fold it over so that I have them sticking up and then I don't have any problem with it. Oops, sounds like my husband's calling. I'll get him in a minute. But that's how I do it, and it can go by real fast, uh, especially if you have a lot. And you have to be careful because it, it will tear. Just fold it over. Let's see, can you get a good picture? It's cloudy and rainy outside and we need it for the garden, but we have a cold front coming in. So I had to bring in our plants that we bought extra. Um, my daughter Amanda, she uh, put seeds in and she's got a whole bunch at home, but we just didn't have enough. So this is a good day for wrapping soap and just talking. Um, my surgery went very well, praise the Lord. Um, 
it's terrible for having um, acid reflux so bad that um, it took a whole year for them to do tests to see what they could come up with. Um, I told you before that I think it was 06 or 05 I had my hernia repaired, the hiatal hernia, and it came undone and it did a lot of damage. So they had to take drastic measures and needless to say um, it is called, the, the surgery was called um, gastric in, inversion with diversion. In other words, it's a fancy name for a gastric bypass. So I only have a third of my stomach and let me tell you just 40 pounds over, um, I had went through such, um, I guess you could say a little It changed my whole outlook on so many things. Um, I love to cook and for not being able to lose hundreds of pounds or whatever, um, my little stomach um, I take a couple of bites and it's been that way for a couple of weeks now and then I'm full. Um, if I had a lot of weight to lose, I would say, yay, you know, this works and I can exercise and get my weight down and stuff. But when you don't have that much weight um, and everybody else is eating and you only get a couple of bites, it's, it's a drastic change in I'm just not doing too well on on that. But besides that, I am so thankful. The first day of surgery right out of recovery and in my bed in the hospital, I was laying down flat. <laughs> and the doctor came in and he stopped and he looked and he just started laughing. He goes, you're laying flat. I said, oh, yes, sir. I didn't have any problem. And... I thank my Lord that there, the doctor said that it was a very scary surgery because of the repairs that had to be done and they were really, really worried. And I said, well, it's got to be better than living like this. And everything went well and um, the, the next day after surgery, I was off all um, any kind of pain medicine, which the doctor thought that was just so odd, but if you suffer migraines, you know what I'm talking about. You know what pain is. And I didn't have um, just a little bit of um, discomfort, which wasn't nothing. And then I was out of the hospital, oh, third day in the morning. I said, I got to go home. So all the tubes and and everything that was hooked up to me, they were out of there. And my daughter came to visit, and I said, take me home. And <laughs> she thought I was trying to escape. But um, they said, no, she can go home. She's doing so well. Um, we're going to release her and let her recuperate at home. So we had over an hour drive um, home. And so... <laughs> Everything is going well, except for trying to get used to a new life. But I'm very, very happy that I can lay down flat and get more than two to, to four hours sleep. If I got five hours sleep for years, um, I felt like I rested very well. So, 20 pounds are off. Got the next 20 pounds. Um, the doctor doesn't want me to lose drastic um, leave so I don't have to really watch my calorie intake um, because I can um, you know if I can get it down then that that's good so let's get back to soaping I am so excited about getting back to some of my routine and of course my husband's always out on the road and that's okay. Um, we talk on the phone as you could hear the phone ringing. 
But anyways, um, I love, love, love this soap. I hate, hate making it, but I love it. It's a little stinker, as you could tell in that one video. But I guess that's about all the news I have. And I hope everybody's doing well and enjoying uh, spring weather, unless you live in the north and you're getting that cold front. Just stay warm. And I will end this video and finish wrapping. Alright, everybody take care. I'm signing off.